Good morning from Ferry Glen. My name's Tony Higginson. And this morning I've been joined by acclaimed vlogger, Andy Homer. Give us a wave, Andy. <laughs> He's just appeared on the on location. I recognised him. Well, he recognised me, but you know, I'm a celebrity, what can I say? And uh, we're just photographing this place. I've never photographed it before. It's in North Wales and it's kind of a bit of a classic. You've got the light sort of comes streaming down this kind of canyon. There's lots of uh, rocks and obviously moving water and stuff. I've taken the kind of classic shot. I don't, well, you know, it's not really for me, if I'm honest. I don't think conditions are perfect for it. And I've just seen it so many times. It's just like, well, there it is. But I've taken a couple of my own specialities that I, I quite enjoy. The long exposure images of some rocks over in this direction. They've got moving water around them and one of them's formed like a natural arch uh, and it's got kind of the water moving through. I've shoot, shot different exposures. It's going to be black and white. I think it's really quite nice. And I'll mention this right at the beginning of the video. I'm a member of a group on Facebook called... What is it called? Landscape Photography on YouTube UK. Landscape Photography on YouTube UK. I wouldn't have got that myself. Good job Andy's here. He's a useful, useful fella. And... Uh, we have like a competition each month and it's around a subject and this sub this month's subject is rocks so i've taken a shot here that's going to be my entry it's kind of black and white minimalist long exposure just the kind of arty stuff that i love uh, and from here we're going to head on and have a nice day of photography the conditions are very tricky we've got blue skies it's harsh but we'll see if i can make the best of it and see what we can find so this is, I just thought I'd let you know what I'm up to, uh, the start of the day, and I'll crack on from here. And also, I hope you're noticing uh, the green cap. I'm into my fashion, you know, and uh, I just thought it looked good. So there you go. I'll see you soon. Hello, we've moved on to a place called the Swallow Falls. It's in North Wales somewhere. Just Google it and you'll find out where. It's a cracking little spot. There's a car park and it's £1.50 to walk down the falls, but it's really nice. There's all steps and parking area and everything, so it's well worth it. And I'd seen that, well, you shouldn't really go off what you see in sort of advertising pamphlets. There was a I've just had my dinner over the road in the pub and there were some pictures on the menu of Swallow Falls and I looked at them and I was like, uh, is it worth it? It doesn't really look like my kind of scene. But we've come down and it's exactly my kind of scene. I love it. It's a really, really good location. Not if you shoot it all in a, sort of the big, the beautiful vista type way. I don't think it works. There's no, tr there's no uh, leaves on the trees. The sun's very harsh, so it doesn't really work in that way. I'm going to take you down now to have a look at the falls. It does get a bit noisy down here. That's why I've stood away while I record this video. But what I've done is I've picked out sections of the waterfall, and it's a really big cascade, and I've picked out small sections, and I've just zoomed in on them. Most of them have shot at 200 mil. It just works really nice. I've been using exposures, anything from sort of half a second to sort of three seconds. You don't need any longer than that. When you're shooting on a long focal length, the water's moving so fast anyway, you can shoot a minute, it doesn't really make much difference. These look great. You can just get a bit of texture in the water and it's working in the really bright, harsh sunshine. So here we go. I've never seen these images before, which is great. I mean, it's obviously well photographed, but here we go. Now, you see something like that. <laughs> Chris is just getting a photograph of me doing a vlog. 
put it on social media, tag me. And uh, say hello, Chris. Hello, everybody. And uh, <laughs> he's taken a few shots here. I've had a look on the back of the camera and they're all right. Um, <laughs> I'm bad, I'm a bad, I'm a bad man. Some people are just naturally nice. And then you've got people like me, but <laughs> it's been lovely. They're very similar to the images I showed you from the last place, because in this kind of location, that's how I like to shoot. Black and white, zoomed in, pick out details. And it's just, I can just imagine it on a boardroom wall, you know, they're having a big business meeting and they all walk in, all in the suits. And there's like a really snazzy piece of art there. That's where I picture an image like this. But <laughs> I don't know, what am I doing rambling on anyway? Uh, let's get on to somewhere else and show you some more photography. But well, anyway, thanks for joining me. We've moved on, and if you watch my videos from Lewis and Harris, I did do a little bit, bit of, uh, well, you could call it kind of urbex photography, sort of urban exploration. Up there, it's just photographing the old um, ramshackled, abandoned houses. On Anglesey, I've come to a, a kind of grand old manor house, uh, and it's beautiful. I mean, I say it's beautiful, it's dilapidated, and actually quite dangerous to walk around, really. So. I can't give any locations or anything like that, but interesting, worth a, worth a photograph, you know, and as long as you're sensible about it, you know, uh, you're gonna be all right. And if one of these walls happens to just crumble in, that's your time, in it? So <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the photography that I've been doing. The first shot, I've shot in black and white, and it's it's this window here. So I've got a window there with some steps and I've shot it both through this sort of old uh, knackered doorway and I've also zoomed in and just sort of shot that section. I don't know which bit I'll edit, but I like that. And then I've also done a fair bit of work in here. So, I mean, you can see how sort of overrun it is. There's huge trees inside it. And in here, I've done some ICM. So I've picked out little sections of windows and just done camera movement on them. Something around two seconds with a polarizer on just to pull out the greens and just sort of bits of wood at an angle and different doorways and just sort of shaking the camera, moving the camera as I'm taking the shots, just to add a bit of sort of, a bit of abstraction really. Those kind, these kinds of images, they never do well on social media, the sort of camera movement images. But you know, they look really good printed and on your wall. I've had some images printed recently um, by a company called uh, L-Type. So it's called L-Type Printing. They've printed some images off for me. I've already done a previous video about the photographs that they've produced. And oh, they are stunning quality. They really, really are nice. I've seen nice printing in the past, but I've never seen printing done to this level. I mean, the detail in it is phenomenal. And for the next few videos, I'm going to be giving away a free print. So just that I mentioned that anyway, but my point was, if you shoot this kind of image, they do look great. And I was showing my sister some of my prints and she's picked a few for a house. And it was interesting, out of a choice of over 20 images, one of the ones she picked, and she normally laughs about them online and says, you're losing your mind, what are you doing? She's picked an ICM picture. It's a picture of some trees where I've got some movement and it's kind of abstracted it. But all the greens and the golds and the colors, they look beautiful and she wants that on a wall. So, like I say, if you, if you want likes on Facebook, it's probably not for you, but if you want something modern and good looking on your wall, you know, maybe get the IC, give the ICM a try. So I've done some of those images here. You're gonna see those in a minute. And if you wanna be in with a chance 
of winning one of my prints, because I'm giving away some of these L-type prints that I've been sent. I've, they've sent me some lovely envelopes as well. Uh, for each video, I'm gonna send a free print to one of my subscribers, and all you have to do is comment in the comments, you know, mention, you know, mention something. Uh, and then what I'll do is I'll put all the commenters in a hat, pick one out, and, uh, and they'll get one of my free signed prints. So I just thought I'd mention that anyway, but we're going to head on somewhere else. I'm not sure what yet, where yet. I think we might go to Penmon, but love it in here. Plus it's cool. Nice to get out of that sunshine. Hello, I've come across a lovely little scene here. Um, it's courtesy of my friend Chris. He's sort of spotted these trees in the past. He said, let's go over there and uh, get a shot of these trees on this hill. I think they might work in the nice sunlight. Uh, and the conditions are great, obviously with a clear sky, a lovely late evening sunlight. And he's, these are the trees, they're beautiful. Look at those. There's actually four of them, but I've hidden one behind the other because I prefer three. Uh, I've also shot another gnarly old oak over there uh, and they're looking great. I've used an interesting technique on this. I've got my polarizer and a 0.6 ND soft grad and I'm just balancing between the two because I don't want that sort of banding that you get with the polarizer. So I'm just doing a little bit, just to add a little bit of darkness into one corner to balance out the darkness I'm putting into the other corner with the grad just so I get it all right, because there's naturally, there's like a gradation sideways. So by using my filter and the polarizer, I can just get the balance right to get a picture that I think is going to be actually quite nice. I'm, I think you're going to quite like this one. Here it is. <laughs> 